Hey, it's me, Aubrey, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about academic stuff, relatable student struggles, and a dash of personal growth. Speaking of personal growth, our episode for today is focused on my work, which is an online English tutor. Now, guys, I will share you secrets, secrets or things you should not do as a rookie. These are the things I did and I regret doing. And I would be glad to share them with you so that you would not do them. <laughs> Save yourselves. Here are six rookie mistakes that you should avoid. Number one, I did not open my classes once I was already activated. So when you already passed your demo lesson, you have to pass the requirements for your account activation. Once my account was activated, I waited days before I even opened a slot for my classes because I was scared. I was really scared because this is my first time and I did not really know what to do. So you're not really maximizing your resources because as new tutors, you have the advantage over other tutors because when students search for tutors, the new teachers would be the one to first appear in the page. So new tutors have that advantage. Use that advantage. Open as much slots as you can and have as much experience as you can as a new tutor. You make mistakes, that's okay. But the most important thing is you maximize that advantage. Next is... Uh, I use highfalutin words to impress my students. That's a major no, no, no. If you thought that your student would be like, wow, you're so cool, teacher. No, that is not the case. Your students will be like, teacher, you, you already know that I'm a beginner. Why, why are you using complex words? Your students will be like that. They will be frustrated. They would not like you because... If your student is a beginner, you don't need highfalutin words. You just need simple words to match their level. So that was my mistake. I thought the more complicated the word, the better. It's not really the case. Number three mistake. I did not take care of my voice. That is really wrong because if you maximize your voice every single time like the loudness of your voice is always maxed every time you will suffer what do i mean by this when i was teaching i drank you know cold water every single time i did not modulate my voice and instead just kept on you know maxing the volume of my voice because i thought the louder the better and because of that i nearly lost my voice it was scary because i had classes the next day so as a rookie do not make this mistake just make sure do not drink pure cold water and also make sure to modulate your voice do not always shout like this so student can you hear me can you hear me yes very good student do not do it like that you just you know have to modulate it like good morning student my name is Bianca and i will be your online english tutor for this session like that you don't need you will suffer next is i did not put makeup on I understand that our job is just teaching English to students, but still, we have to put effort in our appearance. Of course, you don't need to wear like heels or anything like that. We don't care what's underneath. So it's okay if you, use, if you wear boxers or anything like that. It's okay. But this one, this needs to be presentable. So before I did not wear any makeup, I did not look professional and because of that, of course, the student will think that 
I am not a credible, competent teacher because I looked like I just woke up because I did not, you know, do anything with my face. My main point here is you have to look presentable, even though you're just working from home, you have to be presentable. Next rookie mistake that I did is my background back, back then was not organized and it was not well lit. It is a requirement for tutors to have an organized background and a well lit background. That is why I purchased my own ring light and also I purchased wallpapers. This one right here is just wallpapers. I got that from Shopee and of course this one is just regular boxes with black wallpaper. So, you know, it's organized and it's well lit. That adds to the overall satisfaction of your student because again, first impression lasts. So if your background is not well lit or organized, your student might think that, okay, this tutor might not be a serious one. Next rookie mistake you should avoid. Please avoid this one at all costs. Please do not wake up five to 10 minutes before <laughs> your work. I understand that we are all working from home, but please do not wake up at least five minutes before your work because I used to do this before. I used to work around four o'clock in the morning, four or five o'clock in the morning. And most of the time, I'm too, too sleepy to get up in the morning. That's why I usually get up around 3.55, 4.55. And I would be haggard. I just drank water for breakfast and not really eat anything. So it, I was not able to focus entirely on the lesson because I was hungry. And of course, I did not have any makeup on. So I literally looked like I just got up from bed and it's not really again not a good impression to make with your student. You should wake up at least an hour or maybe 30 minutes before your lesson starts. Put makeup on, eat a healthy breakfast, make sure that you already used the bathroom and things like that. So when you start your work you are fully prepared and fully functional. So that's our video regarding rookie mistakes that you should avoid if this helped you please do not forget to add me as your referral my tutor name is bianca and my tutor id is m8753 if you have questions comment them down below i hope this was helpful bye